I'm going to read something else that's very, very interesting out of um, the records of the Lumleys of Lonely Castle. It's just a gem for little pieces of clues that come out of there. And there is an account of a record that was partially burned that involved um, uh, George Savile, who was married to Mary Pratt. Um, it involved their son, George Savile, supposedly. It was, that was the supposition, that was the conclusion was drawn that I really wonder about. And it talks about how um, the Queen really, really, um, really wanted to see George Savile a lot, if they, indeed they were talking about George Savile. And the odd thing I find about that, and I'll get to this later, um, is that, and I'll, you know, I'll show it to you on screen later, it, it, it has it has Murray Pratt calling her son the child and not her son. I'm really wondering about <laughs> some of the different things that were going on at this time. Nonetheless, okay, let's get back to these wills. Now, okay, so we have this this supposed wealth that was in the hands of Henry Berkeley that would be able to be passed on to Mary Berkeley. But Mary Berkeley's parents died before she got married. It's four years prior. I don't see any provision in her father's will besides that annuity um, for her marriage. And I didn't find a will for his wife, Mary Berkeley. It could have been uh, no, it couldn't have been. That was um, I don't know if I don't know if um, God, it's so confusing. But I I don't know if um, Mary Cornwall, if that was her name, if I got that right for Christ's sakes. Henry Berkeley's wife, yeah, Mary Cornwall. She had a again had a sister named Anne that married a Mr. Wells. I don't know. And. Um, if she did, then that will was for actually Mary Berkeley's mother, and she seemed to forget about all of her children and just say, I give it all to my brother George. And if he fails, you know, you know, I just give it to George. Um, I think I'm actually coming to the conclusion that might be what it was. And then we look at George. Berkeley's will. This is the brother, this is Mary Berkeley's uncle, the brother. George Berkeley was um, he was not a Baron Berkeley so far as I know. And this is Mary Berkeley's uncle. And it says George Berkeley of Twickenham. And he mentions, he names his wife as Henrietta, the Countess Dowager of Suffolk. I just discussed a little bit, and he gives everything to her. <laughs> That's it. Because she outlived him. Then we get to um, Henrietta, the wife of George Berkeley, and her primary beneficiary was Beaumont Gotham, who ended up being the Duke of uh, Bucking Buckinghamshire. And what had happened is, somewhere in this whole deal, there was Henrietta Howard was bequested or given a very large gift by the King, George, for being the Lady of the bed Bedchamber. And it ended up being this marble building that still stands at Twickingham to this day. Um, her, her, so her, her biggest beneficiary was John, the Earl of Buckinghamshire, and she didn't remember uh, Henry Berkeley's kids at all. Here goes that. I have it right, right here. I mean, basically, I mean, it's got a lot of this, that, and the other thing of of the body, of the body, of the body, of this and the body, that and the body, and all this other crap. But basically, here is. Um, uh, Beaumont Gotham of God knows what that says 
uh, father and then his, his, his father also <coughs> mentions a George Hobart <coughs> and a couple trustees this is all legalese just for setting up trustees and then we've got There's Elizabeth Germania. I should whip this out. Okay, so Elizabeth, she also mentions Elizabeth, Elizabeth Germania. Who is Elizabeth Germania? Here is, here is George Berkeley, Mary Henrietta Howard. Here is, in fact, George Berkeley's sister who married John Germain, and she was Lee Germain. And w when it mentions the, the marriage engagements between... Um, Dr. Charles Morton and Mary Berkeley, it says she is the niece of Betty Germain. Okay. Um, it also she has a goddaughter, goddaughter, the right honorable lady Elizabeth Berkeley. So I don't know who her goddaughter would have been. It could have been this is Elizabeth Berkeley up here. So I guess I'll take it back. She didn't forget about all the kids. <laughs> but there's no mention of a Morton in here. Then, uh... And then, under her brother... George Berkeley. And then there's a Lady Augusta Berkeley. And then Lady Castleton. I don't know what that is. So I don't even see an Augusta Berkeley here. in my tree. I have no idea who she is. Just a god awful mess. And then there's a Mrs. Ann Pitt, the Duchess of Montague, and then a George Hobart, her nephew. And I don't know which side of the tree we're, we're going on here. I mean, she gave some to the, for the, to the smallpox hospital. And then she starts talking about her servants, John Green, and, and other things. And that is it. As far as I know. So Mary Berkeley seems to have been forgotten completely. Um, I, and the children of Henry Berkeley seem to be out of the picture, as far as I know. So he he, he threw some money back their way, but yeah, nothing happened. So I don't know what the amount of that annuity was for that Mary Berkeley got. It certainly didn't sound like it would last after she died. Um, I have yet to find a will for Mary Berkeley. Um, that's it. I'm going to stop there with Berkeley Wills and then I'll get on with the other ones.